One of the findings that we uh, that was presented today was to look at this uh, population of patients who were not uh, germline and somatic mutation carriers uh, or completely negative. They were this middle group, this what we call uh, BRCA-like or uh, an HRD-like state. And the way that the Ariel 2 patient population has been um, identified has been looking at this loss of heterozygosity assay that um, would identify that group. And so it's, uh, it's clear that there's a kind of a stair step between the response that you would expect to see in a germline positive or somatic positive patient and those that are completely negative. So this middle group seems to show um, efficacy with the, with the PARP inhibitor. And, um, and likely uh, does represent a, an audience that this drug could be uh, to be used with. And I think that the, um, uh, the other issue that came up was really about platinum sensitivity. And I mentioned earlier, the, uh, um, the, the platinum sensitivity seems to be a decent uh, surrogate for, um, for platinum, uh, uh, for PARP, PARP sensitivity, but it's not an absolute. And so I think that a lot of what our future work will do, be doing will be to try to sort out you know, where uh, the sweet spot is for getting these patients onto these drugs that, for which it might work.